It's beginning to look a lot like fall. I can see my breath. The mornings are really crisp. I'm beginning my Christmas list. And the leaves are beautiful. All right, there we have our print. Now I'm gonna make a template, hang on. Here we go. Now, I actually made this one and I felt like it was too small. So because I changed the size, I made it just perfect. I've got that available on the website for you to get. Link in the description as well as two other files come with that. The leaves and the phrase that I'm gonna put on there. That I haven't made yet, so I can't show you. It really kicks off this like bluey gray color in it. And I want you to look at that. This, if you remember, was from my blanket. And look at that texture that has on this pattern. This looks like a legit blanket, but it's not, it's printed. I'm using this to make a template out of. All I did was wrap it around and see where I wanted it to go. What I wanna do is have this point match up pretty much with that point for the most part. And you will be very proud. I got a lot of grief on my sublimation video that I didn't have on those slider cutters, so check this out. So I got me a cutter. I'll put a link in the description. And, oh, get this Halloween candy out of it. It's not Halloween anymore. Ah! Oh, scared you. Did you see you jump? Link in the description. Get your cutter. Uh, it does make life a lot easier, so. Let's go. All right, I've got my tumbler. I've got my template on there and I made a line around where, can you see it? Yeah, you can see that. Where I want my vinyl to go and then I'm gonna glitter this area down here. But first, I'm gonna use some tape and tape off my lines because I'm just gonna use a little bit of a pooksy and then sprinkle dangle some glitter on there and then woo, I got a piece of glitter in there. Look at that, imagine that. I'm gonna do, instead of using the epoxy method, I'm gonna use the UV resin glitter method. I don't know if it'll work or not. Uh, you'll see in a minute, because if it don't, I'm still gonna show you. I had a pack of 50 different colors. And what I did is I took my swatch of vinyl that I printed out, matched up a few colors, like the blue there. I really wanted to get that gray blue going on. Kind of the uh, sandy color right there. I feel like those will complement super nicely. So I'm just gonna randomly Sprinkle those around here and there and uh, till something feels pretty to me. I don't know, makes sense to me. All right, that is really nice. I wanna point out, got it covered. It went over a few times, but I'm super satisfied with this. And then I'll come back, put another layer of epoxy on, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but to be in a hurry, and just because I've got like 40 tons of UV resin, I thought I would do the UV resin over my glitter to lock it in. Uh, not sure if you're supposed to or not, Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's not. If you have any experience, throw me a comment below. Are you not supposed to do this? I don't know, so far it's going really nicely. Of course, I did seal it with matte clear, but it didn't get it all because I got some flyaways, a bunch of them, but you know what? I wasn't worried about that at all because I just kept rubbing and smoothing it out because my vinyl's gonna go over there anyway. I wasn't worried about it. I was just trying to get rid of that edge and lock in this glitter and I don't know. I got a light up here and a light down there and I feel like it's working great be honest. It might be a life hack, Jack. Let's go. All right, I've got that 
I've got it sanded down. I used the UV resin and that works surprisingly well. It's pretty smooth. I didn't go for like ridiculous smoothness because I wasn't really worried about it. So what I'm going to do next, I've got these leaf templates that I made for a a project I never really finished. I sanded the paper, put mica powders on them, and then sealed it with the Mate Clear A and does. If you want to color your leaves, that's pretty cool, but all I'm gonna be using them as is a stencil, even though they're really beautiful. So I'm gonna stick them all around here in my various spots, all the way around, and then I'm gonna hit it. Get over here. Wow. Hit it with some Flatte Clear A, which doesn't quite have the ring as Mate, but whatever. Let's go. All right, I got, oh, I got my stickers or stencils on there. It's looking pretty cool. I got them spaced out nicely. Can't really tell because I got the mica powders on it. It kind of blends in here and there. Now I got the white. I'm going to just cover that up. Bottom. All right, so geez. So I got my white painted on there. Of course, you can still see back there. I'm cool with that. I, I really wanted to, so I know where to put my stuff, actually. So what I did is I like a really kind of faint gray uh, wood grain back there. I mean, I don't know. I feel like in my mind, that's what I got envisioned. So that's what I'm going to do, and that makes me happy. You do whatever you want to do. So I mixed up a little gray. I don't know, really. I'm just playing here. I don't really know what color. Wow, I can't even get it out of the thing. Not really sure if this is the color I have in my mind. I'm gonna try it and we're going. <laughs> Holy nanners. What the crap is that turning purple for? I must have something on this brush. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna go uh, touch this back up with white again and then uh, I'll be back again. Check your brushes, people. Wow, there's definitely purple on there. How did I not see that? Wow. Okay. All right. I got it back white again after that little boo boo. What I feel like I'm going to do, I got this little bitty brush. Put a little bit of the slate color on here. I think I'm going to put some white on this side. And I'm just going to lightly dip my brush in there, dab it off, and then put a streak like this. Because I want just a faint, light, little wood grainy texture there. Just like that. And then I'll go back with white too, dab, dab, dab it off. I just want it really faint and then go back with that until just go back and forth till you're happy. I've got like a uh, weathered, rustic, whitey. Oh, look at that. That's, that's looking good. That's what I have in my mind. So I'm just going to keep going till I achieve what I think I'm looking for. Like that. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Hold on, focus. There we go. Look at that. That's exactly what I want with that weathered, whitewashed, wood grain look. Uh, just keep playing with it. Go back and forth until you're happy with it. And then uh, come back and see me when you get done. Look at that. All Ooh. right, now that we have that done, I got it just the way I want. Let's just start taking our stencils off. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh, that is so perfect. Oh gosh, look at that color popping through there. Ah, oh, let's take all the rest of them off. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that. Seriously, you could just do the whole thing glitter and then wood grain. That would be just sick. Wow. I know a lot of you are gonna wanna do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the color of every single color I use in the description. And also, if you want a chance to get your hands on this exact tumbler right here, be sure you watch until the end and I'll tell you how you might can have this in your hand like this and then you become the owner of it. You know, that's how that works. Look at the one on the bottom. Oh, oh I need to clean a little bit off. I had a little underspray. That's what you get when using older stencils that have been literally laying around for a while. So I'm just going to clean that off and we'll move on to the next step. All right, I'm so stoked the way that came out. Next thing I want to do is I have my, I can see a little bit of my indention of where my V shape is going to go. So I'm just going to sit this on and get it lined up to where I think I like it. All right, so I've got it wrapped around where I like it. When I've done, I'll take and I'll peel back some of this, hold it back right here, and I'll cut this off, and then we're gonna stick it down. I use the scissors because it's easier to do with one hand, and then lay it down, check it again, because you can always pull that, look, it's really from here to here. You can always pull that back up. Check it again, check both sides, make sure you like it. Okay, I like it. 
So what you do is you rub that down really good, peel it off this way, and you're just gonna work it all the way back around. So I'll turn it this way so you can see. So I'm just working it all the way around. And as I push my finger, and I'll cut the top off, I'm not worried about that. As I push my finger, it pushes the backing off that much more. So just keep working it around. Let gravity work for you to push that white backing off. See, it's, it's gonna curl and go out and over the other way. By the time you get all the way around, it'll fall right off. See there? Look at that magic. Work it all the way around. Almost got it all. There we are. We're back, you see we've overlapped here. We're overlapping here. Boom, it fell right off. Boom, look at that. And the way the pattern is, you can all, you can see where the seam is, but who's gonna pay attention to that? And I wanted to do it this way, cause I wanted the pattern to go this way and not horizontal. I didn't want it to go like this. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it to go like this way. So that's why I did it. You do it however you want. And the only thing I will suggest is I like to take my finger and push it down that way nothing gets underneath it so you just follow it and literally it just follows that little brown line so that is looking sick i love it now i'm just gonna trim off my top with my exacto blade i'm actually gonna get a new exacto blade I always use a new fresh blade uh keeps from making it ratty so you cut it nice and clean and then uh we're almost done i got a couple more things i want to show you like one i think i'm going to outline these with a gold paint pen now if you're not comfortable with that when you print these out on the cricut you can set it to do an offset and then separate the layers and uh, make you a gold offset i just didn't have any gold i'd like to do gold right here i think i might draw it underneath it that way the vinyl can guide me because you could also you could definitely epoxy this before you went to the next step and then move on but i like to cut down some layers live along the edge and a little you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm loving the way that's looking man Woo, let's go now since my edge is so nice and clean and i'm gonna draw a line on it you could use foil you can use some vinyl i don't know whatever you want to do but i like drawing stuff and i love these poshka markers so i'm gonna follow this along and draw me a line and then i'm gonna outline all these little leaves let me let me see if i can see through this camera good enough this is very risky because i don't have any epoxy on here that could sand off so I'm basically using the vinyl as my guide and just trying to keep it straight. You may notice when I touch the bottom here, I've already did the other side. Make a nice little point. Thicken it up if you want to. Who cares? Maybe a little more point. There we go. That looks good. I like that. And let's outline this leaf here while you're watching. So you can tell that I am not a dirty, rotten cheater. I do what I say. Like I said, if you don't like the look of it, you know, because sometimes you see these little lines in there. That doesn't bother me at all. Because, listen, the more I can do to show people this is hand-painted stuff, done by hand, craftsmanship, works of art. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm a fan of that. I always love hand paint looking stuff. Just like with my last video, the uh, Team C's video, go watch that. I, I really like doing stuff like that. And I like watching people hand paint what I love most about it. And you can ask a couple people in my VIP group that thought there was no way on earth that they could paint with paint markers or a paintbrush, and they've done both. So they watch my videos. I'm there to ask questions to if they need to and they are doing stuff they've never even drawn a picture but they're doing stuff that they never thought they could do and I, I love that i think that's awesome everybody can draw everybody can paint it's just a matter of getting the right materials right technique and then boom you're doing stuff you didn't even know so i'm gonna keep on going with this i'm gonna cut it out right here do the rest of them and then we'll be right back. And if you remember, uh, I did this last year with my other fall leaf tutorial. If you want to see that, click the card right here. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I, I would dare to say that I like this one even better. Give me a comment below. Tell me which one you liked better, this one or last year's fall tumbler. And I will say one more thing before I let you go. And I go just finish this off camera because who wants to watch this all day? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. While you're down there, likes are free as well. I'm just saying. Hit that button. Let's go. There. Got that done. The last <coughs> step before I hit it with the Mate Clear is uh, I want a little phrase to go right here. So let's hop on over to the pooter and go draw something up. 
oh hey i'm just drawing some designs to make a quote to put on my tumbler and what i did here was i overlaid my pattern and i did my words on top so i can match up the colors and check this out one thing you can do with this file is go to you lay it over whatever kind of background you're using just to match your colors and then you go up to image and adjustments and hue and saturation and you can literally change the color to match whatever you got so if that's too blue you want a little less saturated let's go a little and you can make it a little brighter a little lighter how cool is that you can literally match any kind of pattern to whatever you're doing you can change the color with hue and saturation you can go and select all of your letter areas and even put a gradient in there boom what how cool is that so cool and you can only do that with photoshop so i just want to point that out since you came in here looking at me and stuff i mean you could even do crazy stuff like let's change this to this blue color right here boom well that's not bad tons of decisions to make so let's just grab it and see what it looks like there we go just grab it right off the computer just like that i think that'll be perfect right there i'm just gonna peel it off and stick it as a sticker these things li literally peel just like a sticker just be careful you don't rip it because the uh, printable vinyl is kind of fragile okay ah fragile it must be Italian. And you may be noticing at the top, I got a little carried away on my cutting. I didn't use a guide. I didn't use, somebody actually sent me one of those things and I didn't even use it where you sit your cup on and spin it and it cuts a nice line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this sandy color glitter. When I epoxy it my first time, I'm just going to do a nice little layer of that, like kind of fade it out a little bit, a little, little sprinkle dinkle glitter bay right there. I feel like that would be beautiful. I don't want to do gold. Uh, I could, but the gold may be too different than this so I want to do the the sand gold color is actually what's called so I'm gonna do that and about these right here I've got four more of these to give away live on my Instagram four o'clock on Friday when I announce who I'm gonna give this away to so don't miss it it'll be somebody that is attending live on my Instagram at four o'clock whoever's there I'm gonna pick four of you and send you I'm gonna mail them in the mail I've, I've literally already got them cut out and everything all you gotta do is peel it and stick it just like I'm about to do right now but I'm gonna do it off camera because I can't I want to make sure it's smoke straight because I have no epoxy I'm living on the edge done all this line work no epoxy no epoxy I'm gonna stick this on no epoxy I'm just epoxying one time other than when we did the uh, UV epoxy which was crazy who knew that would work I don't know I didn't but hey that's what we do we try things so I'm gonna get this on here and it's like this there put that mug on there look at that whoo those colors match perfectly because I literally picked them from this. So you can't go any better than that. Woo -wee. I like it. I like it a lot. So now we're going to hit it with the Mate Clear. Hold on. Holy cow. That's white. Jeez Louise. Oh, that was almost really bad. I seen the flat and I was like, what is that? And I'm like, hold up. I said, hold up. Wait a minute, something ain't right. We almost didn't have a video. I'm, I would have showed you what it looked like, but it wouldn't have been nothing fancy. It'd been white, it'd been just like messed up. That's like the second time I've done that. I've literally done that in another video. If I can remember which one, or if I find out, I'll put it right here. Uh, I literally almost did that in one video before with the white. It's dangerous. Read your labels, people. You can't go wrong with my take clear. So let's spray it on our tumbler right now. All right, last thing I want to show you is the, the rim part. I got some epoxy on here. I've got the same pale gold color that I have in there, and I'm just gonna drizzle dizzle the ends with it. They'll ever start coming out. There it is. So I'm gonna hold it up a little high because with well, a higher, it gives it time to kind of spread out and do almost like a fade. And if you notice, I'm doing it off the edge here. That way it just barely catches it. I'm gonna cover this up with another layer of epoxy in about two hours because I'm using the quick coat right here. That stuff is fantastic. If you wanna try it out, I've got a discount code and a link in the description. Uh, use discount code Duncan10, get you some percentage off, and then uh, it'll look like this. Whoa, man, that came out actually way better than I thought because it's kind of ridiculous that you can see the texture of the blanket on the print. And like I said, the print and the wood grain just matches up so nicely. The colors really pop on the glitter i mean what everywhere i look i love every bit of it the little subtle hint of sand gold glitter around the top that's just 
Mwah. It's like icing on the cake there, baby. So like I mentioned earlier, the plaid download, the phrase download, the leaves download, as I've got two of these, I'm including, I like the gradient one so much, so I'm including the gradient in the package. So you get four downloads, I can't help myself, as appreciation, I'm gonna pick one of these live on my Instagram to give you this too. So go grab those download files. I mean, the gold pen on the outline and the Poshka markers, I love the Poshka markers. I got a link in the description to get the exact same Poshka markers that I have. Also with those Poshka markers, I mean, you remember this. If you hadn't seen this video, click right here to watch my last video where I did this with Poshka markers, the wave, the tie-dyed, so beautiful. I love it. But this is the star of the day. Look at that. I can't express how well that worked and how much I love this. And I'm kind of sad to give it away. Not only that, as usual, I printed out extras. And during my live Instagram feed, I'm also going to pick live four people to send these two to you you could get it this could be yours you could be one of those people so be sure you subscribe be sure you follow my instagram page duncan custom airbrush and so you don't miss the giveaways it's my one and only fall tumbler that i'm doing this year from here on out it's christmas baby starting with an ugly christmas sweater we have a huge youtuber tumbler maker clarac 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 how you say that word? Collab. And I really put the jazz. Me and Eli's been working on the edits on this video, special effects, and it's really so funny, so cool. Uh, there may be a Grinch in there. I don't know, I'm just saying. So be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if you wanna go grab your blanket and make a print out of, go for it. Hit that like button, show me some love, help support this channel. Hey, that stuff's free, so it doesn't cost you anything. So like and subscribe, and watch the next video right here.